How do you think you did there? <laughs> I think. Okay, so I, I think we'll get scored. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get scored. There's no time for mistakes. If you make one mistake, they could easily score, but we still like push through it. Field hockey is intense. There's a lot of experience throughout our players. They know where we're coming from. They know we're a good team. Our competition has varied. Each team we play brings different skills and different things to watch out for. The clock never stops, which is why it's so fast paced. When they scored the second goal, I think that was really what disappointed everybody. We needed to put 100% effort in. This can't be it. Like, we don't want to be done. introduce yourself. Okay. Hi, I'm Kelly Rosborough. I'm the Uxbridge Varsity Field Hockey Coach. Prior to coming to Uxbridge, I was at Worcester Academy from 2006 to 2008. And then I started here at Uxbridge in 2014. I would say I'm an active coach. Like I would say, I, I try not to yell. And if it comes across as yelling, it's more because I want them to hear me. And I know when they're in the moment, it's hard to, um, to tune into you know your coach's voice, so I do try to get them to respond. So coming off a 2021 state championship, obviously br brand new for Uxbridge, brand new for me. I've never won a state championship on any team that I've played on. Uh, but like any season, I feel like, you know, the minute preseason started, which was August 22nd, 23rd, I'm usually pretty good with the date. But whenever preseason started, the championship season was over and it was a new season and it was a new opportunity. So I think that's, yes, you're still a state champion, but I will tell you, you know, right now I'm wearing my state champion ring and my sweatshirt. I did not wear any of that during the season. Um, I put the ring away, I put the sweatshirt away. Um, yes, I knew in my head I, we were a state champion, but um, that was not gonna be the focus of our season. So I think just reminding the players that what we did last year was awesome uh, but it's a it's a new you know new season so you have to dig in you know even harder to try to achieve that again What's up? It's up to you. Up to them. Up to you. Hello, I'm Julia Oakenquist. I play field hockey. I'm a goalie. I play for Patriot Club field hockey, and I've been playing since first grade. And I've been playing in Oxbridge my whole life. So in field hockey, there is a lot of rules, but they kind of all like coordinate with each other. Like the ball can't touch your foot, except if you're a goalie, like I can touch it with my feet because I have pads on. As a goalie, you can't cover the ball for more than three seconds or there's a penalty stroke. A stroke is probably the most scary thing a goalie can go through. It's very nerve wracking because all the odds are against the goalie. Stroker is probably, I want to say, seven, eight feet in front of you. So it's close. It's probably the scariest thing ever. <laughs> Not my first time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gianna Noyes. I am number 17 on the field hockey team. 
and I play defense. When I started in eighth grade, I didn't think it was going to be straight up like very competitive. And it didn't really seem like it was until like my sophomore year, um, like the COVID season, we started like winning like a lot. And it just like kind of sprouted from there that we just all like put in all our effort and we just decided like we're gonna make it even more competitive pretty much. I think our field hockey team has a very big impact because it like shows the younger girls how if they push themselves they will be able to be where we are and it's starting them off so young that they'll fall in love with the sport right away and they won't have to like go through like the steps I had to go through when I was in seventh grade because we didn't really have a big program like that. Um, so I started in seventh grade and I didn't know any rules, I didn't know anything. So it was, it's kind of cool that they get to start off so young and then they'll be with us soon. <laughs> I would say like we are pretty much like a family. Before we were on the team, we all knew each other. Knowing all these people that you like play with makes it easier to communicate, makes it easier to um, work with, and it just makes it more fun to win with people that like you're so close with and like your friends that you've known since you were like little. Feel like I'm losing control, going crazy, that's all I know. I know. Feel the energy deep in my soul. I can't hold it back, I got to let it go. Uh, I feel indifferent, it's beautiful. Honestly, really and truly though. Adios to the old me. He's dead and gone, but I don't need a funeral. Look at the way I rock. I got style from head to my socks. I feel like a king, I'm right on top. Killing it, giving it all that I got. Yes, I'm addicted, I can't get enough. Feeling the high, I'm feeling the rush. When I hit a bass, I'm turning it up. That's what the adrenaline does. Yeah. 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 Our team dynamic is great. I mean, we do things from team dinners, team outings, and I feel like the whole team is just super welcoming to younger players and just all the teams. So um, as seniors, we really try to be as welcoming as possible to the eighth graders that are coming up and just make it feel like they're welcome. There's never a moment that we're not talking about the team and how we can be a team and how we can strengthen more as a team. Putting a season together, right? Putting a team together, you have to, you know, make, I guess, the players understand that they're, they're in this together and they're not going to accomplish what they want if they don't have each other and have each other's back. That team dynamic is really important, you, right? You have to trust your teammates. You have to be there for your teammates. Um, you have to push your teammates. You have to hold them accountable when it's hard. Um, so I think that as a, the season evolves, the team part is always mixed in. Game days are usually really hype. They're always energetic and everyone's always like high energy. The fans come. It really brings us up because we know that there's people watching us, there's people cheering us on and we're not by ourselves. We have other people who are like there to support us and there to help us on. When there's fans there, I think it motivates us to play harder and push harder and to work through the challenges on the field. Before game days, I like to make sure that I get like a good meal in the night before so that I can be fueled for the game. In the morning, I have a healthy breakfast and I make sure that I've been drinking a lot of water. I prepare myself for game day by eating a good, healthy breakfast. 
and just and during the school day try and tighten myself up and not so much worry about school and just trying to get like motivated for the game. When I leave, I try and just think about things that I want to like accomplish during the game, like things that will help me improve. And I think one of the biggest things is like during warmups, like we've been told by our coach that we need to put 100% effort in because whatever you do during warmups basically predicts what's going to happen during the game. So if like you're messing around and not like really paying attention, it's going to just hurt you during the game. My name is Peace and Roy, alongside me tonight is Aiden Ross, and we have quite the game coming your way from Middleborough High School between the Monomore Sharks and Yorkshire Spartans in the Division 4 Final Four. So the going back to the semifinal game under the lights. Great, great game. That was such a great feeling. As stressful as it was, yes. Just seeing the team be challenged in that way and be able to still find a way to come together as a team and make big plays. Once we went into overtime, I was super scared, but I was also excited because I didn't know what was going to happen. I kind of thought we were going to lose at first, but then we somehow pulled it away. Going into every game, there's a point where you think you might, you could possibly lose the game, but I was thinking that I'm not going to lose the game, like I'm going to win, so I just kept giving it my all. Knocked away by the Spartans. Sharks still with an opportunity to score here. And that was now over the head in. of Oakenquest. From a mile away, that ties the score at 2 2 with a minute 33 seconds left to go. We may see this go into extra time. Monomoy definitely did their part it, um, in, as far as preparation and seeing us again. That's the only thing I can, I can come up with. You know, I had the gut feeling when we we were going to rematch against them, that it wasn't going to be the same game. They weren't going to be the same team. We can't let that change the pace of the game. We have to, like, we have to react. Like, this can't be it. Like, we don't want to be done. Gilmore getting in. Here Gilmore. comes Kendall Gilmore, pushing up the field. Just has to get past Reeves. Here comes Bouchard. Bouchard getting past Reeves. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Goalie out of net. Now it goes in! The one! The Spartans pull it off! For the final goal of the game, the Spartans will win the state final four game. The state championship game, I, I think after that experience at Mon against Monomoy in the double overtime, uh, I, I think the players just recognize, like they don't wanna be in that situation again. They don't want it to be a close game. They don't wanna wait till the end, you know, to figure out who's the winner. And I, I, I can't stress enough, you know, everyone came to play that game. There were players that really stepped up that maybe didn't step up as much throughout the season that really stepped up in that state championship game. Break me down, makes my 
I'm there to, you know, I'm there to motivate, I'm there to encourage, I'm there to support. Um, I'm there to remind them that they can believe in whatever it is that they want, you know, to do in a season. Winning that second state championship meant everything to me. We definitely made history.